I'm doing this iVocal Culture assessment of Doris Lessing, Shikasta and the Syrian experiments to show people or to teach them how to better understand the vocal culture. The people who were writing all the words that has led us to the world that we live in today Describe the vocal culture, the ancient vocal culture that existed as subhuman. And this vocal culture, which was a way of assessing knowledge and information, is as valid as the writing. Doris Lessing. The Syrian experiments, Canopus in Argos, Archive Series, Book 3. Soon we found out why Sirius had been invited to send representatives when we heard we could hardly believe it, yet what we had expected was not easy to say. The remnant of the degenerating giant race had proliferated and spread everywhere over this continent as well. They were now half the size they had been, about our size, eight to nine our feet tall, and they were not as long-lived. They had retained little memory of their great past, not much beyond knowledge of the uses of fire for cooking and warmth and some elementary craft work. They did not grow plants for food, but gathered them wild and they hunted. From north to south of the isolated northern continent, they lived in large, closely organised tribes who did not war with each other since there was plenty of territory and apparently infinite stocks of animals. The two tribes near here, near this spot, were called Hopi and Navahi and it was Clorathi's mission to visit them and I miss some of what he was saying at this point for I could not tell him the origin of these two names. And I was afraid even of looking at Ambien One when I was able to hear again he was talking about some dwarves that lived in these mountains and in other mountain chains too, over the continent, and he was to visit these for canopies. Would like to know more about them. And assume that Sirius would as well. I can only say that I recognised in this sort of shorthand for much more, for how much more, I will not say at this point. Certainly it turned out very differently from what I then imagined. Clorathi was wanting us to go with him into the mountain habitation of the dwarves. This would involve danger, since they had been hounded by the Hopes and Navahis. And while he was known by them, we would have to win their trust. He was taking it absolutely for granted that we would be ready for this, and Ambien One most certainly was, for he liked challenge. As for me, I did not want any association with what were bound to be no more than squalid little half-animals. But... I assented. <laughs>